All right, let's start off with let's start off with graphics. And here's a problem that I have with the graphics in the game is that they look good. The the frame rate's solid, but it kind of suffers from what I call Madden syndrome in that the cutscenes and the replays look absolutely fantastic, but the actual gameplay itself is kind of ho hum. It actually has some of the most boring tracks I've seen in games for quite a while, and just staring at the back end of your car isn't quite so hot. When you what if the back end of your car has the goatsy thing <laughs> on it? You know, that, <laughs> that, that might make it more exciting. So wait a minute, you right, have guys. to have that camera no, view the whole time? No, you don't. You don't. Oh, you don't? No. Can you, you go in the cabin? The car camera. Yes. You can go in the cockpit, but you saw it's kind of like just part of your hood. It kind of looks awkward. Oh, yeah. so it doesn't have the it cool, like, PGR no, kind of steering wheel thing? No, no, not the, the like, cockpit uh, mode. Okay. So Unfortunately, okay. no, no. Okay. See it. And here's another problem that I have with the graphics is that there's really no sense of, like, speed. You know, I'm used to, like, having effects and wind blowing and the camera shaking a little bit. This is a simulation game, and it might not You're used to the wind blowing? Oh, yeah. Haven't you ever played, and like, graphics? Um, Need for, for speed? speed? Need for speed single player. They have graphics way. for for wind? <laughs> They yeah, have they have a motion blurry? blur yeah, that's blurry? pretty solid. Oh, okay. Dude, yeah. I didn't think they'd have graphics for fucking shooting out tires of a goddamn car and crackdown, but Well the blurring, yes, makes sense, but wind was what was confusing me there. Oh my god, look at that big gust of wind yeah. that just went by. <laughs> uh, Alright, let me finish off this category. Graphics for me. We ready? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Uh, 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 only on this show can I say we're like wind and it takes us off in a five minute <laughs> ramp. <laughs> it's uh, true. Uh, <laughs> graphics for me, I thought, had a 7 out of 10. They were passable, but I felt they really, really could have done a lot more, especially in level design. Wow. We got a first 7 for I'm fours, clapping. Guys. Seven. I'm clapping for the 7, what baby. What a shock. Hey, hey, you guys know? Hold on. Appalled. Hold on. Hold okay. on. I would be willing to put money on the fact that if Force hadn't played this on his HDTV, his graphic score would have been higher. Would have been an Why? Eight. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. HD, Seriously. The- it be- looks jaggy. You exactly, because you before. see all yeah. of the shit that's yeah. like, you know, I know your SDTV does like fucking like artificial blurring. And so, Blur, it, yeah. you know, but uh, just throwing that out there. Summa Graphics, what do you think? Uh, I had the same complaints pretty much. Um, and, and Boba mentioned it as well. Compared to Gran Turismo HD, it just does not look that great. I thought the graphics were good and serviceable. And, yeah, I agree with Forrest that the environments and the tracks you're on aren't quite as varied. There's a lot of brown. The the like cars brown tracks. are the best looking thing uh, yeah, the, as far I like the as cars, I think. I like the, the stands and, and the, some of the stuff you pass. Um, I play the game mostly in first person mode uh, on the hood as Force likes to say. So uh, for me, looking at the back of the car isn't a big deal. It, it, I prefer it in that first person mode. But um, I like the graphics. They were they were good. They were decent, but best on the 360? No. The best for a driving game that's out there? No. But I did give it an 8. I thought it was a fairly solid graphical game. It was right. what you expect on a 360. So Force gives it a 7, and Suma gives it an 8. And by the way, thanks to all of the EG guys that sent in car graphics, you can see yeah. both of them featured right there. Boba's car. I use that and, EG uh, car a lot. Yeah, the one I, I use. I've raced both those cars. They're fully pimped out. And if on mm-hmm. the front of that, it says, no fingers. I fucking love that. <laughs> all right, guys, sound. Because all right, sound. Your guys' scores actually are greatly, greatly, greatly Huge different. Huge difference. Ooh. And so Huge I can't, difference. I can't wait to hear what this is because I saw – Home dude playing this shit, and I one of the things I was digging was the music. So, Force. Okay, oh, yeah. here's a problem up. with this game is that it has one of the best licensed soundtracks I've ever heard. It's full of punk, alternative techno, yep. you know, shit that I dig on. Right. But you only hear the music for 10 goddamn seconds. It takes you 10 seconds to go into the menu, select the next race, start it, and there's no music in the racing, which means that in the 20-some hours I played, Uh-oh. 19 and a half of those hours were Uh-oh. Uh-oh. loud Suma's, as hell. It's Suma's most- saying you failed. Suma, do you have a retort to this? Well, you, well let Force finish. Let's oh, let okay. them finish, and okay. then I and the will break is, them down is that and make them cry. It is, it is the most um, unfriendly game to play in a house. No one can stand listening to that revving over and over. What I really wish is that I could have played the soundtrack, turned down the tires somewhat, but you turn down that sound, you have no sound. What I found myself doing was going to my iPod and saying to hell with the game sound. I'm really, really irritated that I don't have 
something to break it up, and you spend most of that time ahead of the pack, which means that all you are hearing is over and over and over. Didn't you know that one of the customizable features of cars is silent tires? (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. You know, I I missed that. I'm just kidding. You know, it just just grates on you after a while. (laughs) There is no wind. There's no wind sound and no wind graphics. God you know, damn it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Suma. Uh, well, Force, hold on to your score for just a second because I think Force said pretty pretty clearly, great licensed soundtrack, uh, no music in game. Suma, well, you apparently, see my- apparently Force forgot this is a driving sim. And, you know, if you were actually probably racing in a professional race, you might not have the tunes blaring. You might want to actually hear what's going what? on. What? I thought race. you were going to say and something like there's an option to turn the music on when you race. But a fucking excuse that it's a driving sim? Dude, I, when I'm driving, I want to fucking hear the engine rev. I want to hear the crowd as I, I pass them. I want to hear the fucking tires. I, I would humbly agree with that if it was all accurate information. Like, say, if there was a problem with your engine and you could hear it, then obviously I, I want to listen the- to the engine sounds in the game, but if there's not, no information, I don't want to hear just I all do, day long. I do, and if, and if you're listening, doing it in surround sound 5.1, it sounds fucking awesome, and I, as a matter of fact, I crank, never I crank it up. Better. Look, <laughs> and then, like, hold on, hold the clicks. on. We can simulate the 5.1 experience right now. Okay? I'm ready. Okay, Force, I'm ready. you're going to be the base, okay? Camera, you're ready. <laughs> Zoom, are you ready? Yes. Rancy, you ready? I'm ready. All right, Force, are you ready? We're going to simulate the 5.1 experience right now. Ready? Go. Ah! Ah! Hold on, I'm going to throw some wind in, guys. So there you go. If you don't have a 5.1 system, that... Is that pretty accurate? <laughs> is that pretty accurate? <laughs> and uh, and yeah. The, By the way, that, that's how Rance really drives. His and car. yeah, the, the, the <laughs> he music, makes faces like that. The music and the menus is absolutely the best. I think I may have heard any. Yeah, game. but and I don't spend ten, ten seconds now, in there. Now, Dude, okay. I'll fucking leave it on there sometimes. Go. <laughs> And then, like, go back and just pump it up even louder and just stay in the menu and just sit there and listen to it. Were, were you just... I gave menus a 10, guys. <laughs> that looked like a Goatsy reference again, Suma. You were, there. You were sucking on someone's Did, anus You know what back the thing there. is, Suma? Knew... Suma's that when you did your baseball review, you talked about ambiance. And, and yeah, that's the ambiance, that dude. But I, you don't really hear the crowds cheering. You're not wrecking shit. Are you, you know? kidding me? You go by. It's so, awesome it's when like, you're like on the lone go, part of the track. Go, it doesn't have any. Go. It doesn't have any actual people, and then you're like. Can you guys? <laughs> can we stop with the? Can you please stop? All right, all right. Seriously. No more 5.1 simulations. When you're on the track, that's like a lone part, game. and you hear nothing, and then all of a sudden you pass where the crowd is, and you actually hear them cheering. I mean. That's pretty sick, dude. I, I actually like the ambience. Let's this, look at let's ambience. look at the sound scores. I don't think in any review have we ever argued this much about the sound. Force that wasn't it. Force gives it a six. Yeah. Suma, dude, dropping five tenths of a point. I, I almost gave it a ten. Why did you dro- Why did you not get five tenths of a point, dude? Because, like Force said, maybe you, if you did want the music actually in your car, I don't think that you can do it. I actually looked, and I, I don't know if there's that option, but I did look a so little. So it only loses point five fully, for that. So I gave it a point five because Force, yeah, I would like to hear that. Techno. I'm on your side, dog. I, I think Dude, it, I want to hear the racing you know, sound. If I don't anything, want to hear techno. If anything, Live. right? They should have been My, made an option. Perhaps. Turn it on or turn but it on. But is that a reason to give it a fucking six? I still think the sound is incredible yeah, I in do. that game. No, it Can sounds incredible, dude. Shit off. Yeah. I think That's it's a... enough to give it a six, dog. Well, I'm proud of you, Forrest. I'm proud of you. Good job. Great sound. At he least said, it's not a seven. He said great soundtrack. Doesn't give it to you for the game. Let's move on. Gameplay. Forrest. All right, Zuma. gameplay. <laughs> I'm not going to fault this game, and anyone would be hard pressed to fault a game in this category. It lives up to his title of being a race and simulation, but here's what it does that a lot don't, is that it gives you a shitload of reasons to keep playing. You know, you get money and pimp out your cars. I don't know shit about cars, but everything has stats, so it's like equipping a new piece of armor or a weapon. You know, you can see what stats right. get raised as you buy stuff, and as you win a race, you're leveling up your career, which gives you access to more races. You're leveling up your car. You're winning credits to buy more cars, and you also win a car Every three races, so there's tons of reasons to keep saying, you know what, shit, dude, I'm just going to yeah. do three more. And I you're unlocking a lot of stuff, yeah. too. Like, you're all, you get discounts. Yeah. yeah, I saw you unlocking tons of shit when yeah. you were playing. 
So and then and then the actual racing itself, you know, it's pretty decent, and you can actually tell. There's a lot of times where you improve your car, and I can't tell shit about the improvement, but I can feel oh, the difference in my car when I just buy it, as opposed to when I fully pimp it out. Right. They they do a good job of making you not wanting to stop to just keep going. Yeah. Uh, oh, are you done? I'm going to go for okay. it. Okay. Well, I think one of the biggest things, um, and and if you can invest in it, is get the wheel. As far as gameplay goes, it's it's an okay game with the controller, but with the wheel, it makes the game far greater. And it, do you have it a adds, force feedback wheel? Yeah, force feedback wheel. It adds so much more value to the game. It's incredible. Like if, if when I race with just the controllers, I use that view that probably force uses where you're behind the car. Right. But when you get the wheel, throw in first person, so it looks like you're the driver more or less, and it, <laughs> it really adds to the game. When you go over the grooves and stuff in the in the road, and when you go over the little uh, the curve bumps and things like that or when you hit another car or even if you like slam on the uh, gas pedal before the game starts your car will kind of go like like jerk a little bit because you had the right the, the gas down all the way so um and i'm not usually a huge fan of driving games in fact i can't stand a lot of them but the the, the rpg aspects in this game make it one of the most addicting driving games i've ever ever touched and i'm absolutely addicted to the game like i can't wait to get home every night and play it and i was in dc recently and i was just like like I was just hating it because I couldn't play Forza 2. Um, and the gameplay is very solid. The driving is very solid, and, and I absolutely enjoyed it. All right, let's check out these scores uh, up on the screen. Force, uh, you didn't quite go all out. Uh, you gave it a 9 out of 10. Suma yeah. says it's got I think as a driving gameplay. game, it's perfect gameplay. Well, you know what? i got to be honest with you. Of every Forza fan that I've talked to, they, they've they've said it, it's top notch. I, it I, really I don't is think there's any other better ace. driving games. Driving sim. So, uh, all right, fun cycle. Fun cycle. Here's where I think me and Sim are going to greatly differ. I want to say that there are about, I, I'm approximating here, there's about 300 races total in career mode. Okay, I have played about 100 of those races. Okay. I'm about one third of the way through it. In those 100 races, I feel like I have raced the same four tracks for 100 races. What mm. they do is they give you different turns on the same track. But it's still basically the same track. Right, Ridge Racer have, style, right? Is similar, where, but even where they Ridge would have Racer the same felt track. Like it had more variety. And then, okay, yeah, because you're still on like concrete and dirt, basically. Gotcha. And here's a problem that I have that really cut into my fun cycle. Okay, after you get to about a hundred races in it, I'm at the point where every single race I do is ten to fifteen minutes long, and that is an incredibly long time to hold down the A button at one go. You know, without something to break up the monotony, and you have one little screw up on lap seven of a two minute lap per race, and you have to sit through that whole entire 12 thing, 12 minute race over and over. When I'm trying to knock it down, I don't care how good you are. You aren't beating more than four races in an hour. You know, I don't care, you know, how fantastic you think you are. And it just became a chore. It was like, shit, dude, this race is going to take me 15 minutes to beat. And it's just not very fun passing off the controller to you and your buddy later in the game. And it would, like I said, it was very blah Force. to watch. Like, what? the game wasn't as amazing. To... Yeah. What What are you holding the A button down so long for? Well, yeah, why would you hold I'm the so, A button I'm sorry, I meant the right trigger. I meant the right trigger. Okay, um, thanks. He was you know, thinking the I'm... win button camera. <laughs> <laughs> right, on his week. I am, but, you know, when this game consists mostly of just using two buttons constantly, it got very, very repetitive. I would have loved a different style of race to break things up. If you're a Sim fan, it's there for you. But it felt very, very, very repetitive to me. And after about 100 races, right. I was done. It felt like a chore and, to get to the next goal. And here's where the need for a force feedback wheel comes in handy. I Without I the force feedback wheel, it. it is just another game. And, yeah, it may get monotonous and not quite as, as fun for you. But when you have the wheel and you're actually in first-person mode, racing against other cars right up there with them, it's fucking perfect in my mind. I got a question. Uh, how much is the wheel? The wheel's one forty nine. So this is a two hundred dollar game if you want well, to enjoy it. Well, I mean, you're gonna be able to use the scores. wheel with other games that have like an icon that say, you know, all right, guys, you can feedback. use the wheel with Gears of War. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it could use more variety. Sure, yeah, it could, but. It's fucking fun, man. Fun with the wheel. With a, with a standard controller, it's not going to be as fun. I can I can definitely see that. But when you have a wheel and it's like you're really driving the car, then that completes the experience. All right. And, and you know that's what? Why I, I everyone I've heard, 
everyone who said they have the wheel says it's the most amazing game right, yeah. they've played with the wheel. And, yeah. And I, I just I can't afford that peripheral and on a controller it just wasn't there for me. Sell your uh, Wii. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's let's look at the scores for the fun cycles. Force gave it a six. Suma clocking in with another ten. Uh, and that mm-hmm. then now let's look at the overall scores. Uh, Force's overall score. A I mean, seven. Seventy. <laughs> if you break it seven. down, that's a seven, dude. <laughs> it is. It is. But look at Suma clocking in at a 98. And I actually did the math. Your scores came out to a 93, but you thought that giving an additional five I percentage just, points was, was I reasonable. just think overall it's, uh, yeah, it's a 98 of 100 driving sim for an Xbox 360 for the platform, for what it is, with the force feedback wheel. It's near perfect in my mind. I, I, the, only right. two, so the, only, the only reason it's not 100 is because of the sound. Because Suma's touched two games, and one was a 9.5, and this one's a 10, dude. <laughs> I, I fucking I'm, like MLB no. The Show. You want me to review games Shadow, that I hate? No, I'll fucking no, 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 In all no, fairness, no, no, no. It, in all fairness Shadowrun was uh, a 70s score. <laughs> would oh, you like me to review, you know, some shitty game on the yes. Wii? I mean, would yes. that make you feel better? Yeah, we, like, I would. I would like you. Those are two it. games that I really enjoy, and I've been hooked on lately, so. Okay, we'll, we'll, ch- we'll find out in your next review. How far are you into it, Suma? Um, Halo 3. I am not super far into it because I have been traveling. I'm probably uh, over a level 11 in a career, and I, I, I played a little bit you, in here, so my levels aren't as high. I want to know what you think when you're at about level 25 and all the races take that long. Do well, you, and then I'll like go online, and then I'll probably go online. And I, and I actually played time, some you know? races online, and you get into them super fast, yeah. and they do a fantastic um, – if you don't feel like racing, you can just watch whatever the hot race is right oh, now. Nice. Yeah, I think you when I get into someone's TV. I just kind of want to level up my cars in single player and kind of kind of max out everything and then go into online and, and try that. So for me, I mean, that's replay value right there. All right, great. On, on, online was pretty fun. I was happy with that. All right, great job, you guys, uh, with the review. That's Forza 2 for the 360. So let me get your official opinion. Is this a buyer? Must buy. Force, is it a buyer? If you're a sim fan, must buy. If you're a burnout racer fan, just try. And if you're gonna buy it, get the wheel. Boba says you can get the wheel for seventy five off eBay. There so it's used. Yeah, it's but some more in the dark alley. It's it's fucking it's unloaded on. a huge <laughs> load of jizz onto it. Thank you, China. It's got poop stains. Ew. <laughs> All right, guys.